once again on a life too grand Sunday. Uh, being chastened in the Lord, the body as a whole. Um, the ordinance of the church is not being enforced. And this, we're living in a season and time. God is calling his body, the body of Christ, to order. Whenever you have a clergyman that is set out over the flock, acting out of order, you are, this is the ordinance of the church. You're supposed to bring them before the congregation, and you're supposed to rebuke them people and not remove them up out of the position because they're not doing, they're hindering, and they're hurting the sheep of God. They're hindering and hurting the sheep of God. Now, I'm tired of, I'm tired of sounding like a broken record. It's been 12 years. It's out in the open. There's nothing to, there's nothing to reconcile. There's nothing to um, change the matter of the fact of the hand. And you can't go against the will of God. Anytime a prophecy shifts, it's over. You go back on that word, then hey, you on your own. And you are, yes, you are. You talk tattling with a spirit of death. I'm sick of these old men. You got a wife at home. It ain't my fault she's not holding her job down at home. How dare you disrespect me and come up against me and make up these fake relationships walking around here casting. You don't know. Y'all don't have no idea what you are doing when you do that. And this is a spiritual thing. And I made a covenant with God. So whenever y'all walking around here, you got Nicki Minaj over here living in Tacoma. Walking around here with these preachers, Pastor Knox and, and Ernest Bryce, you better, better get Nicki Minaj. And I'm in a covenant with God. God think I'm cheating on him. That's the reason why I keep going up, up under all these spiritual attacks and these death threats. That ain't nothing to be played with. I'm in a covenant. When you go in a covenant with God, that's why you have so much um, chaos going on in your life. Y'all going to run in and out these churches for fame and just to get materialistic things, and you go to you promise say, Well, God, if you get me out this time, if you get me out this time, then hey, I'm gonna do right. And then you don't do right, and then certain stuff start spiraling out of control in your life. That's why because God said you you lied. And you're gonna make good of that vow, or it's gonna cost you something. I'm sick of it now. I done brought it before the church. I don't I don't suffer so much church abuse. I have suffered so much psychological church torture from these hypocrites using false doctrine and not using the word accordingly to the point where it, I literally had a, 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 a mental breakdown in God and he had to, he brought me back by the grace of God for his will and for his purpose. I literally lost my life behind this mess and then this fool, this old fool think that he gonna actually have got a chance to leave. He might as well stay with him. You're partnering up with them just, just for security. Y'all done been together this long. You might as well stay together. Don't be looking at me. Because I don't, I do not see nothing desirable about you, Ernest Burns. Marlon Noss, if I'm not mistaken, you, my mama used to talk about you. I don't sleep in behind my mama. And I'm tired of Nicki Minaj over here messing with stuff, dabbing with stuff. She do not know what she's dabbing with because she's scoping through the internet trying to find her next lay her next prey because her, her little playhouse over there in the industry has worn out. Where was I at when uh, you was highlighting get the, uh, number one songs on the billboard when you went, met Wayne? Hey, where was I? I don't, I don't, listen, I don't even listen to your music unless I'm trying to, unless I'm, I'm trying to get something, get some get back on. That's the only way I'm listening to your music. I don't even listen to your music. So I'm trying to figure out for the life of me, who do you think you are? You better opt out of that, uh, that little secret service spy uh, squad that you in. Because, hey, you trapping on the wrong darn grounds over here, and I'm tired of it. This doesn't, this doesn't make no sense. These girls out here playing with life. Ernest Burns, for the sake of his own family, I'm going to tell you how black power move. I love empowerment, empowering my, my black sisters and brothers when it's about unity and walking in the spirit of truth and walking in love. But no, you got black African-American men that is literally belittling and shattering women just so that they can have the upper hand on them. He has taken his whole black African American congregation and used them for a shield just to keep his family together. All the marriages done broke up just so that him and his wife, his bitter baby wife, can stay together. And y'all want to talk about some black empowerment and black unity. Oh no, I stand for truth. I stand for 
freedom. I stand for what's right is right and wrong is wrong. If you in a position of leadership, African American, uh, Caucasian, Mexican, I don't care who you are, but when you sit up there, you shattering your own race kind to um, just so that you can sit comfortably, so that you can know. I don't need that kind of empowerment because the empowerment that I deal with, hey, if you go down, we oh, we both go down. We supposed to hold one another up. That's that now. That's unity. That's black empowerment. Then you got you, you got you know, hey, women empowerment, and then you no, know, there ain't no women empowerment when you sitting around here plotting on your sister and brother just so that you can go forth and have your happiness in life. Girl, stop. You better sit down and get a real revelation of empowerment. I don't care what it is. I don't care who you are. If you, I don't care if you my mama or you my daddy. If you black and you study throwing your people, your own people up under the rug and pulling the rug off up under your own people, that ain't no empowerment. No, you just standing there just to be pious. So just to holding up a position of leadership. That ain't empowerment. You sit up there, you just got in the office and ain't even been there that long and you threatening your own sisters and brothers. We need the church. The church, if anything else, yeah, that's a necessity. Like the food that you put in your body. Because see, you don't have to have that kind of food, but that nourishment, spiritual food, we need it. But you're going to threaten them to shut down the churches if we don't comply. Hey, they started out outside. I guess we'll have to start back up outside. And I was in church today and I, was really, you know, I realized how, you know, the church is big, but we in a small section. And um, they had blocked it off. Some of us being sarcastic. But um, they had blocked it off, you know, and pastor doing this thing, moving in the spirit. And he had they, they section off and put us in another section. And I was like, okay, that's good. And it's because it's real nice, it's roomy, and we can, you know, have a place to just feel comfortable and be free and, and, and praise in and, and, and the spirit of the Lord. And he said, no, they was trying to be sarcastic. He said, no, I'm moving you. I'm, I'm moving them over. That room is going to be filled. It's going to be filled her soon. If we can get, if we can get our uh, sister power, uh, empowerment to stop threatening us with the power and give us back to get the power back to the church people. That's empowerment. Don't come, come to me with no side. We're talking about so I'm uh, lifting up our sisters and brothers. You better start. That's the ordinance of the church to rebuke this mess. But I'm telling you, I'm tired of it. And I got every right in the world to have justice to this because this is a church matter. You got men and clergy men just sitting up there doing stuff that they don't got no business doing. That ain't no, that ain't no um, healing and deliverance. You can, you can stop healing, trying to heal in between these legs, cause your corns will never rub up against my air mattress. 